<laughs> man what an incredible time we are living in as artist friends man welcome back guys uh, this is solomon jagwe oh wait i usually say welcome back friends this is solomon jagwe i'm back with another just today just some thoughts about ai art and right now i'm in a mid journey so i wanted to talk about something that has just happened and that is make a video this you know how we have mid journey in dali right so there is a new player on the market now and that is uh by meta meta ai and this is a make a video and what this does is like they say here it's a it's a state-of-the-art ai system that generates videos from text so instead of just <laughs> images you know like these ones you see over here we now have make a video and if you look down here you can see some of the prompts that and the results that have been used so just a dog wearing a superhero outfit with a red gift flying through the sky <laughs> right now these are early stages of this uh, technology but you know meta is always pushing the envelope so let's take a look down here and so for example we have a, a teddy bear <laughs> painting a portrait <laughs> it's a teddy bear painting a portrait of itself and this is just text text to video and then a robot dancing in times square you know do you know what the implications of this are guys i mean video editors animators especially like youtube content creators in like instagram you know this is gonna change the way work is done and as i know this is early stages just like we saw with mid uh, journey it just kept getting better and better and better as you go down more as people get more refined results i think the video is gonna get to that point as well so we see there's a surreal here, over here but then we also have realistic so an artist brush painting on a canvas close-up <laughs> right <laughs> and a clown fish swimming through the coral reef so this is supposed to i i don't even i can't even speculate what is happening here but all i can see is the results are promising and this one is a young couple walking in heavy rain so clearly this is going to be drawing from a database of uh like videos but it looks like it's also using images and automatically creating animation out of that that is what's impressive is that if truly this is just going to a database of images and then generating video out of it that is that will be incredible a horse drinking water <laughs> so this looks like a real like a horse that will be drinking water right but you can see where you can tell this is like a photo that is then used to generate video out of the photo itself and then we have stylized so a hyper realistic spaceship landing on mars you know and <laughs> an all painting in formal evening where going home get caught in heavy downpour with umbrellas it is amazing what it's at. now it's kind of blurry i can't even zoom in just yet over here uh, let's try there's a table by a window with sunlight streaming through illuminating a pile of books this is going to be so cool when it comes to like concept uh like creating concepts of uh ideas an emoji of a bed palm wearing a red hat looks <laughs> okay let's go down here this is to me that really struck a nerve like i really caught my attention to strike strike a nerve it's not it's not like i'm unnerved or anything like that but the fact that this the ai is able to generate this motion like creating waves you know is amazing you know you can still see some issues with the the way it's kind of interpreting it but that's very very interesting so there's another one here make a video output and then this input image so now you're able to add a single image you know from this is from static to magic so up here it was make a video with text and at the top that that example we saw here was make a video with text but then we also have from static to image to magic so and then this is amazing 
So you can see how the scales are over here. It doesn't know what to do just yet. It looks really low resolution. So if it can stay true to the quality on the left here and retain that, then that's going to be very, very impressive. But I think it needs to know what, it, like, I don't know if it's looking at uh, different images of a turtle, a sea turtle, and then taking that into consideration to create this is amazing. So, but she added something in the background. You can see like a little fish <laughs> swimming <laughs> and then some waves up at the top. So, and then you have adding extra creativity to your video. You can create variations of video based on the original. So this is the original video. And then it's able to create like a variation of that here, right? That's amazing. That's amazing. So then I'm thinking about copyright issues. Like if you get like this source video, I hope that this, like if someone provides like, a, I guess, what is it? Royalty free video. And then you're able to generate out of that. And I, I'm hoping that we're able to get like actual HD imagery, not just like pixelated video like that. But that's impressive, you know, that it's able to take that image and then cre create like four examples of that. Because that's what Mid Journey does. Also, you're able to get like multiple options, and which you can then upscale. And then this right here. So this is uh, clearly a simulation, you know, in a 3D program. And then it's creating something out of that. <laughs> uh, quality. And then a bunny, it's three bunnies eating. And then it's able to generate like something like that. So guys, I think, I mean, I had to talk about this because we are living in an amazing time right now. And our kids are going to grow up if they want to be artists. They are, I think they think that their outlook is going to be totally different from ours when we started out. It's just going to be totally out different. <laughs> I don't even know how I guide. I need to guide my kid, my son and daughter and teach them, you know, like how the industry is actually changing and how they can embrace this uh, technology. And uh, I think we need to have conversations with the students, even as they're coming out of uh, college and university, that they are up against a different landscape, you know, this is not how we started out. We didn't. Have, I mean, there was a. I know I, when I took photography, I knew photography wasn't going to be threatening to my ability to create art or paint. But this new technology, when it comes to uh, like take, vi make a video, this is like video to a prompt, and then you're able to create video out of it, and then taking a, just a, an instruction like this and creating amazing artwork. <laughs> It is amazing. So I'm looking forward to seeing this quality like Majan is generating right now inside of uh, Make a Video because if it can get to that, then we're talking. But right now it's still, still in its infancy and maybe because, uh, well, right now it's uh, Meta that's doing this, but I'm, I'm thinking other companies are going to jump on board. So there's competition. Where there's competition, there's better results as well. That's why I think with DALI and you know, mid journey being available and other engines, it's good for, for making this better. But I think as we look ahead, like to creating concept art, being able to take like just a prompt, you know, and then someone is able to generate art out of it. And now we have the ability to do that for video is amazing. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments in the video below. And uh, I'll share this link because you can sign up by the way, at the very bottom, if you're interested in uh, part participating, you can sign up here and, uh, you know, wait. I don't know if it's going to be waiting in line for how long, but we'll see. I can't wait to actually try it out and see the result. And, oh man, I'd actually missed out the gallery. So we have a gallery down here for people who have actually tested it. So humans building a highway on Mars, highly detailed. <laughs> Okay, a mask ox grazing on beautiful wildflowers and then a golden retriever eating. So this is crazy. So right now, this is the gallery. It's one, two, three, four, five. Those are 10 images. But soon, I think this is going to be populated as more and more people get involved in this. But that's, it. that's a, a blue unicorn flying over a mystical land. You can see issues, you know. There's some issues. As a cinematographer, uh, yeah, it still has some ways to go, but you can see the building blocks are starting to come together. All right. 
Thank you so much, Kane, for joining me today, guys. Uh, much love to each and every one of you. But what a time to be alive as artists, right? All right. Uh, share your comments. Let me know what you think. And if you have a, a minute to spare, please uh, set aside, spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. Uh, let's continue to have a conversation about this. As an artist, I continue to look at this and I'm like, I need to be aware of what the landscape is and then to see how to harness this technology and also to see how to, we are co who we are competing against. Because if you're just in a box and you not, don't want to look outside, there's not, you won't be able to stay competitive in this industry. You need to be aware. We need all need to be aware of how the our art like landscape is changing. Like seriously changing, guys. <laughs> Amazing. All right, guys. See you next time. Much love to you all. I, I keep praying for you. And uh, may we continue to look at these tools and use them to tell our stories. Just find a way to bring your story to life. Bye for now and please stay safe.